wherever you are, whatever time of day it is when you're watching this video, and I hope you're watching it, and here's why. Over the last few weeks, I would say the last four to six weeks, I've gotten a lot of people reaching out to me to join many different gifting programs. Now, I need, I need you guys to understand something. I wanna, I wanna make this very, very clear. I've been in probably 10 gifting programs in over the last 10 years, right? Gifting is not new, there's nothing new about it. But for some reason, people get fired up about particular programs every few months. And the reason why they get excited is because it's marketed well, right? If you're standing up with a bunch of money, okay, let's say I came on this video and you, you, as soon as I came on, that was behind me. There's a trigger there, just so you know. There's a mental trigger with seeing stacks and stacks of $100 bills. Only problem is 99% of us have never seen that much money at once. So it doesn't trigger properly, right? It has a weird trigger. So why would I put that behind me? Because I know most people have no idea what that is, right? People have seen this. That makes them wake up. It means breaking news. It's all about marketing, folks. And that's just my company, ABS Inc., businessbuiltforyou.com. Okay, now, let me help you guys understand something about gifting. Gifting has, I don't care what the name of the company is. It's not a company either. Let's be clear. Gifting is not a company. Gifting is an activity. Susu, friends and family, money club, mailbox cash, any way you put it. If you're sending some money via a cash app, it doesn't matter. PayPal, probably won't do it with PayPal because PayPal shuts that down immediately. In the mail, it doesn't matter. It's not a business. It's not a company. It's an activity. And it's a gray area activity. Let me explain. What does that mean? Gray area means it's not 100% legal, but it's also not illegal. You feel me? Okay, so let me just make this clear. And guys, you don't have to listen to me. Do whatever you want. Take your $500 and give it to Susu Nim. <laughs> okay? I'm not telling you not to. Actually, what I'm doing is trying to teach you how to win. And this is how you win in the gifting game. There's three things that all gifting programs have in common. I don't care who they are. One, they are set up for you to lose. Because eventually somebody's going to get caught holding and not holding the bag. With bag being slang, slang for money. You would not be holding that bag. You'll be holding the bag. In other words, you spent your $500 and you'll never get a dime back because that's the nature of that process. When you're fighting somebody about it, don't argue when they say it's a pyramid because all corporations are pyramidal in structure. You have the owner. Then you have CEO, CFO, COO, President, vice presidents, right? Managers, assistant managers, workers. Those workers and everybody else is designed to funnel that money up to the owner. So the owner is always going to make more money than anybody else in the game. That's a pyramid. It's structured pyramidally, right? Now, the problem is when it becomes a pyramid scam. Because scheme doesn't have a, it, it has a negative connotation, but it's not a negative word. A scheme is just like a schematic. It's a system. If you follow that system, then you will get the desired effect. If you follow the system. So there's nothing wrong with the word scheme. Nothing wrong with the word pyramid. The problem is when it's a scam. Right? And when you say Ponzi scheme, it makes people think the word scheme is a problem. The problem is the word Ponzi, because that's a man a long time ago who 
who set up a system, a scheme where he gave you the opportunity to make money by giving him money. And a scheme happens, the scam happens when you need somebody to do the exact same thing in order for you to get the money, right? But again, that's gray area because according to the IRS, the IRS code, okay, hold on. I don't, if I say it, you won't believe me. So let me see, IRS code gifting. All right. IRS code 26 U.S. Code subsection 102 gifts and inheritances. General rule. Now, just so you know, I'm not making this up. Let me share my screen so you know I'm not making it up. I don't want you to think I'm lying to you because that's not my deal. Here we go. Okay. 26 U.S. Code subsection 102 gifts and inheritances. General rule, gross income does not include the value of property acquired by gift, bequest, devise, or inheritance. B, income, subsection A, shall not exclude from gross income, the income from any property per where the gift, bequest, device, or inheritance is of income from property, the amount of such income. And what this does, it goes to tell you exactly what that means. In, in, in short, what that means is this. If I give my son $50,000 in 2019, I can't gift him not one other dime in 2019. Otherwise, he has to pay taxes on it and I have to pay taxes on it. That's what it means. So how do the rich eliminate taxation? A certain amount of their taxation is eliminated in the form of gifts, okay? And what that means is if I make X number of dollars and my income tax liability for that year, if I'm paying it personally, and I'll explain that at some point too, but not today. If my personal income tax liability is $50,000, let me take this out because the active noise cancellation is where I can only hear in one ear. All right, if my income tax liability is allegedly $50,000, then here's how I make it go to zero. I give my son a $50,000 gift in 2019. And every year, as long as it's under 50, my son can get that money without him having to pay taxes on it. He's just a baby, so he won't pay taxes. But I don't have to pay taxes on it either. That's all it means. So gifting programs come from that. The concept of being able to give somebody up to $50,000 in one year and not have to pay taxes on it and the person receiving it don't have to pay taxes on it. But in a true gifting program, in order to eliminate the black area, you have to send a note with that money saying, I'm not looking for any money back. I'm giving this to you freely as a gift. And that note needs to go with everything. Now, from what I'm understanding, nobody's doing that with all these current programs. So they'll get busted. And once the you know attorney general busts them, then it's over. Then they can complain and say, man, I didn't know, and blah, blah, blah. And then you're stuck holding the bag, okay? Now, if you want to do a true gifting program, there's plenty of them out there. But if you want to win, if you want to make money, let's say uh, lately, everybody's doing the $500 to $4,000 in 30 days, okay? Because they're using a gifting slash one-up slash matrix where when you pay your 500 you're not paying it to the person who told you about it you're paying it to the person that's in the water or up the tree or through the jungle well it's nonsense right it's just a matrix set up so that a lot of people get part of your 500 dollars, and over time you end up making your four thousand dollars allegedly in 30 days here's why it breaks down immediately because you're asking people to ask their friends and family. I had a conversation with a six-figure earner, you know, business entrepreneur, friend of mine, named Kawan Mayo. I'll shout him out, absolutely. 
Kawan said to me, he made, I, was, I was talking about this, because I know some people who never joined a legitimate business that I presented to them, but they're all piling their $500 into these gifting programs. And I, went, I just got like, man, what the hell? I know it ain't about me, I don't take it personally, but I'm like, what is it that makes that mindset work? And he said, because people want, want something for nothing. They want to be able to put their money in and get some money out. In other words, like a lotto ticket, right? And that is what it is, right? No problem. People work every day. They get sick of working. They don't want to work anymore. They want to put some money in, get some money out, right? They want a business built for them. Okay, so with that said, he said, don't take it personally that, per that your friends and family don't join your business because you have to look at it like this too. If you bought a brand new McDonald's today, brand spanking new, not one French fry has ever been fried, right? No grease on the floor, brand new McDonald's. Which one of your friends and family are you going to ask to manage that for you? Not work the fries, manage. So you don't have to show up. How many of your friends and family are going to do that? I didn't think so. Not very many, right? Because you know they're not business people. In order for a gifting program to work, there's only two ways that it works for any sustainable time. I'm not talking six months. Any sustainable time. I know some people have been in gifting programs for years, 10 and 15 years, because the programs are set up properly. Okay, now let me show you how you set it up properly. Don't talk to your friends and family because they're not business people and they don't respect you as a business person, right? They don't. I don't care if you're president of 3M. Your mom looks at you as the kid that she used to wipe your ass. Your best friend does not view you as president of 3M unless that person works for you. They view you as punk ass Greg, who I used to thump him upside the head when he was eight. That's how they view you. That's not personal. It just is what it is. Okay. So leave your friends and family alone. Your friends and family will come to you when your system changes, when your world changes, when they see you just moved or you just bought a new Lamborghini or you just bought a new bass boat, right? Cash, right? When you're throwing money around like that, they come to you. You ain't got to go to them, right? And, of course, they're going to say, man, how come you didn't tell me about this because you weren't ready, bro, right? So here's how you make sure that they're ready immediately. Buy some leads. Three words, buy some leads. Can I say it again? Buy some leads. That's how you win. Period. <laughs> okay? That's how you win. Look, if I was going to start a gifting program, here's how I would start it. I would find one or two business people and say, look, we're going to start a, a gifting program because I know a lot of people have already asked you about gifting and you said, no, I don't do that nonsense because you don't want to go talk to your friends or family. Good idea. So here's what I would do if I was starting one. I hope some people who want to start one watch this video before they start it, okay? Here's the requirements. One, when you come to me or when I come to you, you do not get to be in this program until you sign the document. On that document is going to also state that you are required to purchase leads at least a thousand every month. When you get the leads, okay, you contact the leads because these leads are people who are actively looking for what you have. Not people you got to go talk to and try to get talk them into doing something. You ain't got to flash no money, you know. No. No. It's simple. If somebody comes to you through you personally, right, 
Like if, if, if I started a brand new gifting program today, right? And you watching this want to join my gifting program personally, not through a lead source, but personally, I know you personally, I'm going to give you a hundred leads. Soon as you give me your fee, whatever that fee is, $50, $500, 5,000, and the same amount of work it takes to make a $5,000 sale is the same amount of work it takes to make a $5 sale. And you know who's going to give you the most trouble? That person who gave you $5. I'm just, I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. So if you came to me or I came to you personally, I would say, look, $500, right? Here's how I want it. And I'm going to give you 100 leads, right? Right? I'm going to give you 100 leads. So what that means is I just sold you 100 leads for $500, which means each lead costs five bucks. Am I gifting at that point? No, nope. because that's a product. Leads. Give me 500 bucks, I'm going to give you 100 leads. Right? You have 30 days to contact those leads. Because within 30 days, if 10% of those leads join you, right, that's 10 people. 10 people times 500 equals $5,000. You just made your money plus, right? Simple. So what do you do? Do you keep buying 100 leads or do you buy 1,000 leads? And do you buy 1,000 leads a week? Or do you buy a thousand leads a month? No, you buy them every day if you can. Because every time you contact a certain amount of leads, you're going to make a certain amount of money. It's simple, guys. This is not difficult. People make it difficult because they want to do all this personal talking and showing up at some meeting room and flashing hundreds that you ain't made. If you just joined yesterday, what are you doing standing there flashing money for somebody who's trying to get you to give some money to somebody other than you. It doesn't make any sense. Not to me. I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just saying. Right? It doesn't make any sense to me. And you guys are going about this in a very weird kind of way. So let me, let me, let me just, let me just show you what you need to do. Before you give somebody 500 bucks, even if they don't do this, you do it. As soon as you give somebody this $500, do not go talk to your friends and family. And if they tell you, you can't give me your 500 until you bring me two people with their 500, that's just, try they're trying to load the deck. They know this, how difficult it is to bring two people to anything. So they don't want to have to do it. They want you to do it for them. Okay, screw that. They ask you to do that. Look, man, you want my money or not? Because I ain't bringing you to nothing because I got a program where I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to do it my way because I want to win. I ain't trying to be with y'all hanging out for the next six months still trying to get $1,000 from the 500 I put in. No, I ain't trying to do all that retarded nonsense. So here's what you do. Soon as you pay, you go here. Go to thesecretleadsource.com. Go to thesecretleadsource.com. When you get there, this is what you're going to see. A little video, and you put your name, email, and phone in it. Take the free tour, right? The video goes like this. What is the surefire way to grow your business? Listen closely, folks. Buy leads. And I know you're looking at me like that. That's right. Leads. Here's the biggest secret to making a lot of money. You are in full control of how much money you make when you control the amount of leads you buy. Read it again. You are in full control of how much money you make when you control the amount of leads you buy. Think about it. Say you buy a thousand leads a week. Let's say those thousand leads produce one sale a week and that sale makes you 500 bucks. Week number two, you only buy a thousand more leads. You would make another $500. 
right? Would you just continue week after week only buying 1,000 leads? Believe it or not, that's how many people treat their businesses. The smart person buys, say, 1,000 leads and then 2,000 and then 5,000 and then 10,000 and keeps going, increasing at a rapid pace. It's called scaling up your business. It's called momentum. Gifting programs don't ever have long-term momentum. It's also easier for you to build your business fast than it is to build it slow. At the Kingston Ad Group, we provide only the best, highest quality leads. Are you ready to start scaling your business? Fill the form and click the button below. Period. Period, folks. Go to thesecretleadsource.com. Go to thesecretleadsource.com. You can get a thousand leads for a hundred bucks. <laughs> That's right. If you're willing to give somebody $500 in hopes to make X, but you ain't willing to spend an extra hundred dollars to guarantee you make X, you're just giving your money away. And if you got that kind of money, call me. If you just want to give some money. This is G. And again. <sighs> go to. some leads guarantee your success and stop flashing that money until you make it yourself on that note peace